boyfriend and she's supposed to be your best friend. So why is she all over him? Today, women who are fed up with their friends out of control flirting say, Step off, girlfriend, he's my man. <laughs> They say their friend's flirting has got to stop or else their friendship is over. I'd like you to meet 18-year-old best friends Alicia and Sacagawea from San Diego, California. Alicia says she's sick and tired of Sacagawea trying to steal her fiancé, Chris. But Sacagawea says Alicia's got it all wrong and she needs to check her man and leave her alone. Chris is waiting backstage and we'll hear what he has to say in a minute. Now, I'd like you to meet Dana and Chrissy from Queens, New York. They say they watch talk shows from morning to night, and throughout the show, they're going to be giving our guests a piece of their minds. But first, Alicia, why do you think Sacagawea is trying to steal your man? Because, first of all, they were in a bedroom together. His hand was on her thigh. They was kissing each other. No, no, you because save it for the somebody no, who because, believe in you um, because that ain't even what's going on. No, because oh, she because was no. kissing him, and she said no. the only reason why oh. she was kissing him was because to prove that he wasn't no good. But First I know all, that ain't true because I've been with him for three years. First of all, he was kissing on me to be correct, and I was just kissing back. I don't think oh, so. first now no. what happened they was kicking don't but she said play, that don't try and play me like wait wait, wait. let me hear her side of the story and then i'm gonna let don't you say your side of the story like okay the I'm, I'm gonna come to you in one second oh my they now were go ahead Julia. tell they, me what happened they were kissing right but she said he kissed her first. i don't care who kissed who first they shouldn't have been kissing in the first place you know what <laughs> No, she told me. Oh. And he denied it. But see, who do I believe? Her or him? She been my friend for three years. I've been going with him for three years, so who do I believe? I've been your friend for four oh, years. four years. Sacagawea, why were you kissing her man? Sacagawea, and her man was kissing on me. And she went to the back room, and he tried to kiss on me, and I was telling him, you know, I ain't even falling for it, because before I was telling her, her man wants me. No. Her no. man no. wants me. That's why he be all up on me. No. Okay, uh? I don't think so. I don't think so, though. I think so. Though. I think so. Well, so, what did you do when he was kissing you? Did you fight him off? Did you push him away? No, I pushed him off. And then I was like, wait a minute, hold up. I don't, I don't need her man because her man's not my type, okay? So, uh, to let you know, if I wanted her man, I would have her man. But since I don't want him, up, uh, excuse you. What are you Since I don't want her what man, is he kissing? I don't, I'm yeah. not even Dana, what are you to saying? Perpetrate. If he's not her type, then what is she kissing him for in the first place? How did she? <laughs> First of all, don't even try and get up here in front of me. Alicia. Second of all, um, um, Alicia, I wasn't talking to you. Um, I wasn't talking to you. Them two, you know, like, they, they both been, like, been, they've been a part of your life for three years, right? Just drop them both because it takes two to kiss, all right? That's a very good point. That's why you don't have a man. That's why you don't have a man. Why did you tell her? Because I'm going to show her what kind of man she don't have. You know what I'm saying? She thinks, oh, he up here, he being my man, he uh -huh. being faithful, and she trying to be faithful. And I'm like, don't even play that role. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be your friend. Yeah. And she, What kind of man is he? Anyway, um, what kind of man is he? Yeah. He's a dog. You know what I'm saying? He be coming up. Um, why do you say that? Has he done anything else to your friend? Huh? Like, like, 
has he done anything he comes, else to your friend? He comes on to me all the time. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I tell Alicia, Alicia don't want to believe me. So I said, watch, I'm going to prove it to you. This day, I'm going to go up there and watch. I'm going to be kissing all up on your man. I'm going to let oh. him make the first move, and then I'm going to move on into it. Well, so, wait a second. If she's no, trying to help yes, her I friend did. out, maybe we should hear her side oh, of the story. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, yes, but I But you know did. what? I want to hear his side of the story. So, Chris, come on out. Thank you for joining us today. How you doing, Chris? How you doing? I'm Just all right. fine. Now, who was kissing who? Well, we all know how the story goes. She was, you know what I'm saying, all up on me. Oh, and, Lord uh, have mercy. You know, she, she, You're not even look, my type. Look, you know what I'm saying? You don't even pass uh, qualifications. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, let me say it. You don't pass my qualifications, well, so don't even trip. that's not what you thought that night. Oh, you know well, why, why last night you was trying to get in my, my bed? Why was you trying to get in my bed? What do you mean I'm trying to get in your Alicia bed? Alicia was there. Oh, come bed. off and you were trying Alicia to get in my bed. Exactly. What are you talking about? When, was, you know, when was he trying to get in your bed? Because we were trying to go out to a club because, uh -huh. you know, we don't know our way around here. And then the Madison Gardens was open and Drama. I was in the bed laying down. Wait. Drama. Wait a second. <laughs> shut up. Drama. Just shut up. because we were trying to go to Madison Garden, but I didn't yes. want to go. I was in the... She's from out of town. We New Yorkers can forgive her. Go ahead. Uh, well, whatever it's called, you yes. know what I'm saying? We were going there because they came up to my room and yes. asked me did I want to go since I was staying in there. I said no. Alicia went into the bathroom, mm. and Chris was like, well, I'm old enough to go in there. And I said, well, yeah, you are. You know, so then he starts climbing in my bed. Alicia comes out and sees him. You know what I'm saying? So that Look, just shows you I what type of man he bed. is. I sat on her bed he to use the phone. The my... phone is right next to no, the bed. No, no, see, you know I'm laying right here. The phone's right uh... here, and he climbs in on that side. So that just shows if, you If you was in the bed, how you answer the door? How you let her see it? Wait a second, Chris. You didn't get in her bed. What? I sat on the What's bed. Why are you Alicia? sitting on her bed, Chris? No, don't huh? even. Why are you I was sitting using on the phone. I was using the phone. Alicia? But she was with me, though. What's Alicia, that supposed to what did mean? you see? Is she, is I she was, painting I was in picture? the bathroom. I didn't see anything. Let Chris, her tell it. are you flirting That's with her? That's exactly what no, it is. Huh? I she didn't want to see it. That's what it was. She didn't want to. Uh, so, Chris, let me ask you this. Chris. Chris. What one of our audience members said earlier, it does take two people to kiss. And Alicia, I know you want to know what happened. Yeah. So nobody can force right. a kiss on you. What was going I know, on? I know, but look, check it out. Yes. See, I've been drinking that night, right? <laughs> but listen. <laughs> gay, be gay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, there you go. Um, what's your name? Saka Julia. I don't even... All right. I don't even know why you're trying to pull like you all that, because there's mad people in this audience that look bad in you, so you need to just stop Show with your me attitude. Show one, because I don't see no female up in here that looks bad. <laughs> Alicia, 
Chris? Is there something you want to say to Chris? He has to choose between me or her because I'm not going to sit down here like no fool for him. It ain't no choice. It ain't no choice. It ain't no choice. It ain't no choice. Wait, no choice. Chris, what do you have to say to that? I mean, it's not no choice. It's, it's we've been together for three years. You know what I'm saying? We ain't had no problems until now. You know what I'm saying? So why why should I have to make a choice? There ain't no well, choice. Well, why is there ain't a no choice to be when I've known her for three years and she's had a man before Chris that now there's a problem? I've yeah, never came on another man. Type either. There was Chris. all kind of guys Alicia was <laughs> yes. trying to talk to. You Chris, know what do I'm you love Alicia? Excuse do you me? love Alicia? Yeah. <laughs> How much do you love her? <laughs> You're a liar. A lot? Yeah. What is that under your chair? Some flowers, some roses. <laughs> trying to get I'm flowers. trying to help you out here, Chris. Who oh, are the flowers no, for? No, got, I mean, he's, he's trying to tell you to pick them up. I know what you're trying to do. Chris, I can show you where his mentality is at because Chris, he don't comprehend too well. who are the flowers for? They're for Alicia. Why I don't you right here. give I them, them right to her? Well, 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 well I didn't know it was time for that. You know what I'm saying? It's you, Chris. Tell him to give her you're a kiss. Give her a kiss. And uh, uh, her, uh, it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing popping. No. Oh, what do you mean I can give him to her? You don't want him? Because she knows. She know I don't want her man. Alicia, Alicia know I don't want her man. And you don't want her. No, because why don't you want her? If he, if he was trying to get her bail last night, why should I take them flowers? Hey, you, you don't know? believe that? Hey, you don't believe that? refuses to believe you because he's convinced your friend is a flirt and trying to steal you away. That's exactly what happened with our next guest. I'd like you to meet 21-year-old Jason and his 19-year-old fiance, Aisha. Jason says he's sick and tired of Aisha flirting with her best friend, Jamal. In fact, he refuses to invite Jamal to their upcoming wedding. Aisha says that if Jamal isn't there, then she won't be either. Aisha's best friend, Jamal, is here and will be out in a moment, but first, Jason, Jason, what do you think is going on between Aisha and Jamal? Actually, there's nothing going on between them. It's just that there's constant phone calls. It's on her part. It's on his part. That's my friend. And it's sickening. That's my friend. You know if if that's my friend, friend, we supposed to talk. We wait supposed minute, to wait talk. Wait a minute. If that's her true friend and he knows that that causes arguments between us, he should back off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every, yeah. every single time. Every single time his name comes up, mm -hmm. his name is mentioned, there's an argument. He has his own girlfriend. He's not thinking about me. Me and Jamal have been so friends for years. So you got your own years. girlfriend? Call we, your own girl. We've been friends for years, before me and Jason even met. And if he wanted to hit on me or anything like that, he would have did it already. But they kissed each other, though, right? Whoa. That was before Jason was even in the picture. And after that kiss, so, we realized that we was just friends. And no, that was it. They became very good friends so after Jason, they kissed. So, Jason, if Jamal... If Jamal is such a good friend of hers, and she oh, says that Tempest, just wait, wait, Tempest. Okay. He tries to be Jason's friend. He calls me and says, does Jason play football? Well, you know, won't you invite him? I want to invite him I to come play football with him. I got my own friend. But he, he's trying to be friends so he can fit in with us. I got my own friend. He, he wants to be your friend. He I knows it's a problem, friends. and he wants to be your Jason, friend. Jason, why can't you just accept that they're just friends? Because, because his first girlfriend did it to him two times. She cheated on him twice. 
Oh. That's why. And said it was just his friend, his so-called first love. Uh -huh. But she didn't love him that much if she cheated on him two times. She did not love him. But I do. I'm the one with the ring on my yeah, finger. Yeah. I'm the one who accepted his wedding proposal. Mm -hmm. Me. That's it. Jason, why can't you take her at her word? I, I, don't, I don't mind yes. you saying they're being friends, but it's just that constant... That's it's what friends on, it's, do. It's when you say constant, how often is he calling? Before, only reason he's not calling as much as he used to because he has a girl now. Before, he was calling every no, other day. No, right? no, that's not well, true. Every other day. I got to see the guy that's causing all this trouble. Jamal, come on out. Now I'm saying I want to look right at him when I'm speaking to him. So okay. I'm All right. Exactly right. Him in the face. Well, what do you want to tell him today? All right. First of all, me and Aisha was friends a long time before any of this even thought about. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. Before you met her, before you get, got engaged to her, whatever. But if you know if it causes problems, why are you still you know, still calling? Why do I call her? Because yeah. that's my friend. Because we're friends. But that's if you, I know she tells call you. Each other. I know she tells you that there's all going on. If his girlfriend had a problem, yeah. which I think she does, as of uh, yesterday, if his girl had a problem with me, she gonna have to accept the fact that we, the fact that we are friends, that we are gonna conversate like you that. You say that's his girl's got do. a problem too. Yesterday now? we were on the phone, and I said, "So is she coming with you?" She was like, "Why I gotta come? You know, why I gotta come? I watch it on TV." I'm like, oh, your girl is acting kind of funky. What's wrong with her? You oh. know? And then, you know, he had to jump off the phone, you know, because he lives with her now. And he had to jump off the phone with her. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I guess she was going to get on him or whatever. <laughs> All right, I understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get this together here. I understand that that's your friend. All right, but that's your fiance. Yes, it is. And you I got the You got to I understand that your they friends come, come before. Oh. What? Why can't they come? Jason is always going to come first. He always is. I, but what if Jason, I need somebody to talk to when Jason is the problem. I can't turn to talk to him when he's the problem. So if he's the problem, you're supposed to talk to, to him, girlfriend. She going to talk to him. Hold on, hold on. She wait, talk wait, wait, to him wait, wait, to be hold a hold friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And then it causes argument between us. But it should. Listen, listen, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. That's your fiance. If you got problems, y'all supposed to talk that out. He ain't got nothing to do with that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Aisha, that's a very good Aisha. point. Hmm. If Jason is your fiance mm -hmm. and he has a problem with his friendship, mm -hmm. can't you tone it down a bit for him? We okay. did. We only did. Only because he Aisha, has a girl. That's the only reason. Yes, please. Please. Let me, let me say something. He has a friend that is a yes. girl. He has Before a we go any further, there was, me and Aisha never called each other like that every day. No. You know what I'm saying? Every other we day. did not. No. Every other day. No, we did not. No, we did not. Mm -hmm. The only reason, yeah, we did slow down on the phone calls because of you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason I did is because she asked me to, and I respect her in that but way. But why she got to ask you Why you can't do it on your own? Because it's because up to her it's to up ask to me, me to. I'm her it's friend. It's up to me. Only reason I know you is because we of her. We toned it down. We was talking like you know that, and we toned it down. I'm Chrissy. not going to cut off all my friends because I'm getting mad. I didn't say cut off all your friends. Because if something happens, if something happens, and Jason is not here tomorrow, I'm going to need my friends. Well, Christy? But you ain't gonna need a friend that's gonna cause more problems yeah. in our relationship. He's not the problem. Okay. How would she feel? But every time it's an argument. Okay, Jason, she just said that a good... You read my mind. Yeah. How would you Jason feel? has a friend. Let me tell you something. Okay. Jason has a friend who's a girl. They went to college together. Yes. And, but she met him. He was trying to talk to one of her friends. This was before. Now, we saw her one time, and I respected the fact that that was his friend, but he wanted to sit outside and talk to her about the other girl. You know what I'm saying? Jamal is not like that. When I'm with Jamal, I'm talking about Jason, not about nobody else. Nobody else. But, that's but on the same it. token, if that's, I did not take her out of that piece of weed, it would have been a I wouldn't care. If it was his care. friend from before we were together, okay. if it's somebody he just met now, you know, if I make a friend today right. and then start calling, he has the right to be like, well, you know, no, I don't right, like right. that. But if it was somebody, his friend from before, I wouldn't care. She's lying. Okay. I am not lying. Yes, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm honest with you, Jess. You said lying. that Jason played There's before you? There's no way. You? Just yeah. like she said, if he was a guy that she met just now and then yeah. he started calling, then maybe you can get offended. 
because that's somebody new. That was somebody that was there before you, and he probably going to be there after you. You can't get upset. But what's all, what's all, if he's not in my marriage, then I'm not going to marry you. Jason, Jason, she's asking Jason, me Jason, if you want your fiancé fiance to be happy, you should let her do what she wants to do. And but be why she tell president. me if, she, if he's not in our no, marriage no. and our wedding, so. that she's not going to go through with it? I'm just trying to that's show you. That's another thing. Ruining just, our, you know what I'm saying, ruining our relationship. That's, 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 that's just Aisha, to show you how strongly Aisha, I feel about it. Jason tells I'm not going to be with a man. If Jason I'm, tells you, I can't get I'm, over it. I got a problem with, I mean, with this particular person. He has to deal with it. Because Jamal has not, if Jamal has done and something to him, if Jamal you know has saying? done something to him to offend it'll him, then I could say, or if he ever made a move on me, and then I could say, okay, well, you know, he's disrespected you and me. Well, then, you know, okay, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But he's done nothing but try to be Jason's friend throughout so. this whole prop, throughout the whole thing. And even if he doesn't want to be his friend, I understand that because some people you don't want to be friends with. Right. I'm but, cool. I'm not but, cool. I don't have but except the friend. fact that that is my friend. Yes. I understand what you're saying. So. They were friends since childhood, but then he kissed his fiance yeah, yeah. right in front of him. He's here to tell him to stay clear of his woman next. but what would you do if your friend kissed your fiance right in front of you? I'd like you to meet 28-year-old Kevin from Florida. He says his lifelong friend Brian did just that, and it almost ruined their friendship. Brian is here today, and he's going to be out in a moment. But first, Kevin, tell us what happened. Well, it was a party over at my house. Uh, I think it was around Christmas time. And Brian was really, really in inebriated. He's a womanizer as it is. Uh-huh. And, uh... I, my, my wife was, my fiance at the time was a little drunk too. And I, I, they, they, they kind of kissed and, and I freaked. And Brian and I went at it in the middle of the living room. Now I you mean, say kind of. Well, they, 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 they kissed. kissed. They kissed, yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. But it, it was more of a flirtatious thing, but I, I went ballistic. Yeah. And Brian's bigger than I am. But it didn't matter. I jumped on him and we went at it. And the next day he called me up and apologized, you know, and, and I took it to heart because this is like almost like an older brother to me. We've been yeah. friends for a long, long time. Yeah. And over the years, I uh -huh. mean, we've just been through a lot together. I mean, at one time we were both womanizers together till I finally settled down. But this Brian, wasn't the first time something like that had happened, was it? No, actually, when we were younger, uh -huh. um, I was 16, and I was going out with like a 23-year-old girl. This, and this, this, chick, this chick flat out was a hoe. And <laughs> Brian was trying to tell me what was up. But I wasn't listening. Yeah. And one day we were all hanging out, and uh, Brian says, Kevin, go get some beer. So I went to get some beer, and I come back to the house, and they won't let me in. And they locked the doors. So I mean, I'm all banging on doors trying to get in the house. Finally, I just left an hour later. I caught up with him driving around the neighborhood, and we chased, I chased him for like an hour, couldn't catch up with him. And the next day he called me up and he explained to me, he's like, I was trying to tell you all along about her. I hated to do it this way, but this is the way I had to do it. So that was his way of letting me know that he was kind of right in the way, but still the way that he went about it wasn't too, you Well, know. you know, I got to hear Brian's side of the story. Are you ready to meet Brian? Yeah. Brian, come on out. Brian, thank you for joining us today. Now, Kevin seems as if he's all right with all of this that's going on, but you actually kissed his fiance in front of him? Yeah. Nice friend, nice friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah Brian. Do you regret it? Go, <laughs> Brian. To tell you the no. truth, to, to tell you the truth, yeah, I regret it. You do? Yeah, I do. And I did apologize to him. And uh, Why did you do it? Why? Twice, no less. I can understand a girlfriend, but not a fiancé, soon-to-be wife that's your best friend, and you're tonguing her? Yeah! Kevin! Kevin, I, I 
think a lot of us in the audience might think there might have been a better way for him to let you know at 16 that your girlfriend might have been a little promiscuous instead of get locking himself in a room with her. Uh, yeah, he probably could have done it in a different way, but I was... You had that liquid, liquid I, I should, I should have, I don't know, I should have listened to him. It probably wouldn't have happened. But unfortunately, it went down that way. And, and you were all right with this? Uh, for a while, I wasn't. But I mean, I, I, I'm, it was 12, 13 years ago I got over it. At the time, Kevin. I wasn't. It took a long time to get over it. Do you trust him now? Uh, yeah, I trust him now. Why? And you know, Aisha, I got to ask you. At the end of our segment with you, you and Sacagawea hugged. Uh, what did you because decide to do? My friendship is more important than him. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, what's her name? Aisha. Alicia. If you should dump them both. Because if she did it once, she's going to do it again. No matter if it's for her or somebody else. Up next, she wants to tell her friend if she doesn't stop touching her husband, she may end up with some broken fingers. Plus, later in the show, our talk show addicts will give our guests their expert advice. crosses the line. Do you tell her to step off? I'd like you to meet 34-year-old Ada from Jamaica, Queens. Sitting next to Ada is her friend, 19-year-old Shay from Brooklyn. Ada says she's had just about enough of Shay pawing her husband, and she is ready to put her foot down. Ada's husband, Glenn, is waiting backstage and will be out in a minute. But first, Ada, tell me what Shay has been doing with your husband. Well, Shay has this tendency of um, being very flirtatious. Always, she gets loose with her fingers. Okay. Hey, first of all, you were incredible. No, wait, wait. Touching her head does not make it flirting. Okay. No. <laughs> you touch your and man's head. head. You touch I'm your man's head. head. You if touch your man's head. head. I like it. I'm no, 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 no. You gonna rub? Make you gonna rub frightened. this? That's what you gonna rub? Oh, thanks. So. Hey, hey, hey. Going like Tell that. me about the first time you caught her doing something she shouldn't. Well, we went on a blind. Well, I set her up with a blind date and whatnot. So when I left the table came back, I see something moving under the table. So she had to take it off her shoes and was trying to play footsies. So I grabbed her toe and I snapped her toe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you but he wasn't toe. complaining? Uh, that's so right. So if, if you all feel this way about each other and you got to put hands on each other, why are you all still friends? Well, no, dump who? He, I'm married to him, baby. I ain't gonna no, dump but him. why are you still He's friends divorced, with huh? Shay? <laughs> Divorce? No, nah, I mean, I'm asking, why are you still friends with Shay? Because Shay, she really is harmless when you come down to it. I guess she ain't got a man, so she got to, like, play on everybody no, else's honey, man. honey, I got a man. Oh, but hey, do right. you? <laughs> if I'm going to want to show us, I can get you. Do you yours. think she's serious? You no, think she's no. seriously after your husband? No, not really. She know better. No, not really. Why do you hang out with this girl and she's like all over your husband? It doesn't make sense. She don't. She don't be all over my husband. So why you know? are you here? Because saying if that was the case, and being all over somebody that's two a different, different thing. Things, so go okay? ahead with that. Because she was all what over him, she do? wouldn't be here. Shay. She wouldn't be here. What do you do? How do you put your hands on her husband? <laughs> well, I'm rubbing his head. He got a cute boy head. If I'm gonna rub it, I'm gonna rub it. That's like I seen a man in the audience in here. I don't think so. Excuse me. Rub his head. I you Why do you both? put your hands on her husband? Why are you even touching him? You shouldn't be touching him. Because I can do that. It's a difference between touching somebody the way of saying I'm going to take you to bed and just yes. touching just to be touching. That's okay? very true, Shay. That is very true. But if she feels it's inappropriate and it now is going to that her point. husband, why can't you respect that? But why stay quiet all this long about no, it? No, don't even and go then there. bring it up once in a while. But when you bring it up, you laugh and I'm going to take you for a joke. That's bull. Because you know you, we don't go there. I've told okay. you. I've so, told Ada, you. if she thinks you're I've kidding you. and you're serious, tell her. I've told her, okay? Tell her today. Okay. Tell I her told, right now. I'll tell her back off or, you know, she's going to get critical. You're going to wind up getting hurt. I ain't well, I'm not worried about no getting hurt, 
part. Hey, no. People Trust also me. do say that it takes two okay. to tango, so oh, no let's doubt. meet your husband, yeah. Glenn. Come They're on out. They're both gonna wind up getting hurt. Go ahead, Glenn. <laughs> now, are you really letting Shay rub on your bald head? This one, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, um, you know, Glenn, I knew when I said that I was going to get in trouble, it just came right out. And I just had to go it. with it. You know, sometimes you got to go with it, but yeah. go ahead. Um, I don't think she means any harm by it at all. Yeah. Right? I kind of more think that's, uh, I mean, it's, it's Shay's way. I mean, as long as we've known each other, Shay, I've known Shay, and as long as I've known Ada, it's just, just the way in which uh, Shay has always been. I don't really think she means anything very much by it. Ada and Shay, I can understand being French, okay, but see, there's a fine line there. You have to respect your friend. You cannot, I mean, touch, that's not yours to touch. You have to give her that respect. And to um, Aisha and the one that was on the panel before. Aisha, yeah. Aisha, I can understand what you're saying, that you have, that y'all are best friends. This is my fiance right here. Mm -hmm. But he comes before any friend. I don't care, man or female. Okay. okay. So you have to give each other that mutual respect. Thank you. Next, she says she wouldn't trust her friend to be alone with her man for two minutes. Her friend says she's right to be worried. Whenever Ada goes in front of a bunch of men, right, it's, uh, I call it that Percy walk from that movie Pocahontas. Yeah. It's always this. <laughs> friends, but what happens when you find out you can't because your friend is willing to do anything to get your man? That's exactly what's happening with our next guest. I'd like you to meet 18-year-old Kim and her friend Chiquita from Grandview, Missouri. Kim says Chiquita is constantly flirting with her boyfriend Roy, and even though she knows it bothers her, she refuses to stop. Chiquita says that's right, and she'll continue to flirt with him no matter what. Roy is backstage. We're going to meet him in a moment. But first, Kim, how long has Chiquita been flirting with your man? It's been going on for about, I say, about three months. Three months? Well, when I bring it to her, she tell me that she just being friendly. So, you know, I don't ever really trip off of it. As long as I don't catch nothing going on, it don't bother me. What does she consider flirting? What has she been doing? About last, last summer, we went to St. Louis. It was a group of us. Uh -huh. It was me and Roy and my friend Aisha and her boyfriend. But she was by herself. She ain't got no man. You know, she was by herself. <laughs> and so she knocked on our door and asked us because she sleep in our room. No, nah, wait a minute, wait a minute. It wasn't even like that. I didn't ask to sleep in the she room. She asked to sleep nah, in our room. No, wait a minute. No, nah, it wasn't even, she, it wasn't even like, sleep what 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 she like that. What happened, Chiquita? Okay? She said she asked to sleep in our room, no. but she was by herself. She I, it wasn't even like that. That's wrong. I, yeah, okay, I went up to the room, whatever. I knocked on the door. I didn't ask to sleep in the room. I asked, I went in there. I didn't went going in there, you know, to start no trouble. Okay, I went in there to see what they was doing, whatever. I didn't go in the room to sleep. That's time of night. If I go in there, I can find one. What other stuff has she done? We'll go out. It's a street, you know, yeah. in our area, Kyle Prospect or whatever. We'll go out. And anytime <laughs> she get more excited over my man than I do, then we yeah. got a problem. That's you true. Know? Nah, ain't nobody getting excited over her man. Now, you do admit that you like Roy. Yeah. And but she you ain't think, got nothing coming. But she ain't got she ain't got a trip off or nothing for right now. He's with her, so he I mean, my ain't going to fern ain't kill But you think him. that one day they are gonna break up and you plan to be there, don't if you? If they do break up, yeah, I'm gonna be right there. He ain't going nowhere. Well, Roy, come on out. <laughs> Have you ever argued with Kim about
about Chiquita? Yeah, when we was in St. Louis, when she came in our room and tried to sleep in here. <laughs> Look at you smiling. Now, you know, you know Kim had a problem with that. Did you have a problem when she did that? Yeah, no, he I only mean, thinks she's friendly. I thought she was just friendly. It wasn't no big deal to me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big deal. But he paying she my bills. Sleep with me. She yeah. paying sleep my with bills. Me. He's taking care of me, so it's all, all good. All right, now. Then Kim, if you feel, <laughs> Chiquita, what do you mean by for right now? Yeah, he might be kicking her down, paying her bills for right now. But you know, later okay, on down the line, he gonna be do kicking you want me her? down. Now. Do you want her? <laughs> do you want her? Don't give a try. Do you want her? <laughs> I have something to say her? to all of y'all first. None of y'all have respect for yourselves or each other. And to the first group, you, whatever your name is, first of all, you said nobody out here is better than you. Mentally, you got nothing on me. Because I'm not going to sit up there and argue over no boy. And then if, if you all of that, why you sweating him like that? If you so much above him, why are you stooping to his level? You talk about he ain't your type. Why are you going down to him? You said you're better than him. What, do you have any, no, do you have any advice for Kim? Right? Because even though she knows that Chiquita has plainly said, just a second, give me a minute. Even though Chiquita has plainly said, I want your man, Kim is still you know, cool with him. it. Okay, well, is he, is, are you down with it? Is he down with it? Is he flirting back? That's no. the question. If he ever gets down with it, you need to free Willie and let him go. Because they need to let him do it. You've been listening to the show today. Do you have any advice for our panelists? Definitely. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think she should stay with her man or with this girl because they yeah. their stories are conflicting too much. Their, their stories are conflicting too much. These guys I think here, they're supposed to be best friends or whatever. Yes. I think he should find his own man and leave his own woman and leave, leave his them alone. alone. Yeah. Well, the reason I'm here in the first place is because I'm concerned with him because he's a flirt. He's, he's going to end up hitting on the wrong man's woman. I know it'll never be my woman. Maybe he should woman, go to a shrink yeah. a couple days a week. It'll be somebody else's and he's going to get shot or he's going to get AIDS or he's going to, I mean, who knows? Who knows Maybe going to go Maybe he should go seek help for like a, a few what days. What about Ada, and Glenn, and Shay? Shay? She is totally out of order. What about Ada, Glenn, and Shay? Totally out of order. They're married and she's playing footies and she's saying he allows it. Why is she? If well, she wait, 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 wait. The, uh, Ada flirts a lot too. I explained for a lot of guys a lot too. Ada, Ada yeah, has but a that's not Ada, Ada, has a walk. Ada has a walk, right? Ada has a walk? Ada has a walk, all right? Yeah. When Ada, whenever Ada goes in front of a bunch of men, yeah. right, it's, uh, I call it that Percy walk from that movie Pocahontas. Yeah. It's always this. <laughs> whenever she goes in front of men, all right? So, I mean, Ada flirts a lot, too. Yeah, but that's her friend. Right. That's supposed to be her friend. She shouldn't be flirting with your man, her man. Yeah, but, no but matter she, if she it's harmless. It's harmless. That's, that's irrelevant. She's her friend. She shouldn't be flirting. Well, if I, felt, if I, really, if I really felt that Ada yes. was offended by it, right, then I would, I would make sure that she didn't what do about, it. What about, we only have a few seconds left, it. so what about Kim Roy and Chiquita? I think she should lose, definitely lose her as a friend. She's a bad She's yeah. waiting to bad just stab you. You're still supposed to be friends and she's waiting until you're out of the picture to get with him? Lose what is her. that? What is lose that? That is true. Lose that, lose what is that all well, about? Not, we'll be right back. Like to say? Yes, I want to tell Ash Jamal if he'll come to the wedding. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Aisha, how do you feel about that? It makes me glad. I'm happy. Oh, that's <laughs> great. I love happy endings. I want to thank all our guests today and our audience and our experts on the panel. Until next time, peace. Yeah.